watch yourself. Eight foot scepter, I just don't know where they are. Are they going to come down here or are they. They don't come up, do they? Oh, they do come up. Where was he? Apparently he's just down there. But I don't know where he is. There he is. been searching the island for quite a while. Things just seem to get worse and worse. Now Tanya is somewhere out there, locked away in some lab, and we can't do anything to help. Like the thought was getting to me, and I know it was getting to my partner just as bad. The situation seemed almost hopeless. And that's when we finally got our first piece of good news. The radio began to crackle. Franco looks confused, but still decides to answer it. Hello? he asked. Can you two read me? Tanya asked. It was Tanya. She was speaking in a hushed whisper, but there was no mistaking it. The voice was hers. Tanya? How the hell? Franco said. Then Tanya said, Let's just say Stone might be a mad genius, but he doesn't have a clue when it comes to taking a prisoner. There aren't really any guards here. I was able to bypass security and hack into the computer terminal. But just listen, all right? Stone's lab is somewhere on the southern part of the island, but it has its own cloaking device. It was set up in case the island was ever discovered or invaded. So what, we hunt down and destroy another generator? Franco asked. Yes, but, Tanya said. But what? Franco asked. You're not going to like it. According to the plans he has on file, the generator is being kept off-site, on the back of a pterodactyl, Tanya said. How does that work? Franco asked. A psychic tether. It's something else we reverse-engineered from the aliens. It sort of works like Wi-Fi, only with energy, Tanya said. All right. So are we going to take down a pterodactyl? Franco asked. I'll leave that up to you two. I can send you the exact location of its nest, Tanya said. A few seconds passed, and Franco heard his watch beep. On his watch were the coordinates to the nest. Once you destroy that generator, finding the lab should be pretty simple. Now I gotta go. Good luck, Tanya said. Yeah, thanks. I think we're gonna need it, Franco said. Franco turned to me and spoke. Come on. Let's kill us a flying lizard, Franco said. He sighed. Now those are words I never expected to say in my life, Franco said. And just like that, we were off to hunt down a pterodactyl and destroy the miracle of science some madman had strapped to its back. Could possibly go wrong. No achievements have come through. Where's my hundred and... Watch yourself! For my 
my help. Right, what am I going here for? Five targets. Let's get this thing here. It's one. <coughs> Shit. I'm gonna do miserable on this one. True warrior is made of. Don't know what the hell this thing is, but I'll find out in a minute when I'm walking to this tree. Let's get the high ground. Where is it? After a while of trudging through a dinosaur infested jungle, we finally came across the base of the pterodactyl nest. It rested Thank on top God. of the cliff. We had a long journey ahead of us. Come on, I think I found a trail we can use to get up there. Tastegosaurus. The trail was easy. At least until we were spotted by the other pterodactyls. We finally made it to the top. The pterodactyl was there just like Tanya said. And there was a small generator on its back, just like she told us there would be. The beast turned around and spotted us. I didn't have any misgivings. I knew right then it wasn't going to be easy. Look sharp. Here we go, Franco said. With one last bullet, the beast fell from the sky. It went crashing all the way down. When it landed, something went wrong in the generator and the device ignited. By then, the other pterodactyls had flown away. Sure enough, soon after the generator was destroyed, the radio began to crackle again. You did it, Tanya shouted. Her voice was still as hushed as it was before. Only this time, there was a little more excitement. According to the computer, the cloak should be down. The base will be visible to you, Tanya said. About time something worked out around here, Franco said. Well, it gets even better. While you boys were out dino hunting, I managed to find a map of the island that shows the exact location of Stone's lab, Tanya said. Great. Tell us and we'll be right over, Franco said. All right. Just be careful. Stone's lab is a fortress. It was really made to stand up to an invasion. And now he's got weaponized dinosaurs helping him guard the place, Tanya said. Just tell us where to find you. We'll worry about the rest, Franco said. All right. The coordinates are, Tanya said. We were doing so good. Everything was working out as well as could be expected. Then things started going south. Tanya stopped talking and static came over the radio. Then it stopped. Now, now. I can't make it too easy for you. Come out and find me. Tanya will be waiting for you, Stone said. The radio went silent. Who the hell put a maniac like that in charge of something this dangerous? Come on, let's move, Franco said. <sighs> I couldn't believe that other thing, Jesus. Believe in that thing. <laughs> let's get some ammo. Of course, you asked for my help. Oh, I've got creatures. Is it? Whatever it is.
We found Stone's base hidden deep in the jungle, and Tanya was right. The whole thing was a fortress, fit for a siege. When we approached, we discovered that Stone had other surprises waiting for us besides the Gatling wrecks. As we approached the front gates, we were approached by a Triceratops with three heavy laser cannons strapped to its back and armored plating all over its body. The Tri-Cannon didn't go down easy. It was armored. We needed the use of the heavy stuff just to make a dent. When we stepped through to the lab's courtyard, we stepped right into the fire. They just kept coming, wave after wave. We needed to get inside, so we made the difficult decision. My partner worked on opening the doors. I would hold off the onslaught, all by myself. I would have to hold them off until his partner managed to open the door. We rushed into the lab and blocked the door behind us, but strangely enough, the raptors didn't try to break their way through. I thought it might have been a small reprieve. Then we found out what a curse it really was. The footstep of a Gatling Rex thudded on the ground. The dinosaur entered the room through a large opening in the wall. We made our way up the stairs to the top floor of the lab. As we climbed, we found that Stone had another test in mind. My partner used his last piece of heavy artillery to blast open the door, and we went through. But just like last time, they refused to follow. We walked through the destroyed doors, and a set of auxiliary doors slide down behind us, blocking the damaged doors. Tanya was being held in a cage that hung from the ceiling. I'd finally arrived at the heart of the lab. In the center of the room is an enormous device with crackling energy in the middle. Do you like it? Be careful. Don't want to end up your own grandfather, do you? Stone asked. Oh, okay. Here we go! Who's these dead bodies that drops down here? Let's go for it. Where is it? It just appear next to you. Trying to switch to the other one. No, nope, switch to the other one. Some health. Oh, the greatest warrior. Is that what I'm supposed to kill? The one somewhere Stay there. back! They're all mine! Have a look in. It's down here. What the hell is it? What way is it? Apparently it's just up there. Professor Stone appeared on a large screen set in the back of the room. What is that thing? Franco asked. Then Stone started to speak. Welcome to the heart of the Nexus Project, the seed of our enterprise. That is the device our community have lovingly called the Time Nexus. Its basic form once served at the heart of the alien ship that crash-landed at Roswell. As you can see, we've improved it since then. It was from this device that we discovered several essential principles that lead to our most beneficial breakthroughs. But more importantly, it was from this device that I created my dinosaur army. Allow me to demonstrate. 
the room began to rumble. The device Stone had called the Time Nexus began crackling with greater intensity. Then we saw the real power behind Stone's experiments. A normal T-Rex appeared in the room right in front of us. How the hell? Franco asked. The Nexus is a time machine. Stone can drag anything he wants from any time he wants. Be careful, Tanya said. Things just keep getting worse, don't they? Franco asked. To be expected. That was just a warm-up. Let's start the real fun, Stone said. Then a group of raptors appeared. Damn. The machine is overheating. But don't worry. I still have a few pets willing to keep you company, Stone said. Two tri-cannons rose up from the floor. Here we go, Stone said. A giant pterodactyl flew out from the Nexus. One of you has to try and destroy the Nexus. If it's gone, Stone can't use it to summon more of those dinosaurs, Tanya shouted. Yeah, I thought of that, but he's not giving us a chance, Franco shouted. I have an idea. Get the pterodactyl to fly into it, Tanya said. How? Franco asked. I don't know, Tanya said. Yeah, I know. We're the soldiers, Franco said. And the Nexus was destroyed as the flying beast flew into it. For a moment, we thought we'd won. But when I looked up at the screen, Professor Stone was gone. Turns out we would find out where he'd gone. Stone burst in riding atop a T-Rex. This one was different. This one was protected by thick armor and armed with laser Gatling guns and mounted with laser cannons. Time for the final experiment. My greatest weapon versus humanity's greatest weapon. Let the battle begin, Stone said. The battle ended when Stone and his Tankasaurus Rex fell to the ground. We managed to free Talia from the cave, but the dinosaurs were there to stay. Yeah, I'm a, I'm they a... shall feel my fury. It's down. Down. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, one over here. It's that one. Come on, you pussy, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where is it? I can't see it. Oh, it's there.
the hell? What do you mean time 32? Well, I forgot. That's not good, is it? Damn. all by myself. Oh, fuck, I've got a wave. That's not what I wanted. Let's get this little dude down here. Where is he? Running. That doesn't sound healthy, what's that? Warrior. 
don't know how long this goes on for. These monsters are mine. Primal. Down. Let's get over there and get some health. Oh, hang on. to go soon it's what is it another there's some ammo over there I have no idea what, how many I'm supposed to be killing. Is this even the part of the game? Shit. She's curious, she can't reload. No, you can't be over. I'm not done yet. Oh, I am done. What the hell? I've got. Am I supposed to hit a certain amount of hit? What an insult! You put these opponents against me? Soldiers. I don't know how long this is supposed to go on for because I'm, I'm supposed to do my um, 
Man, what's call it? Where did that come from? Here it goes. That was supposed to be the main target, was it? I think I've got to kill these eggs. Oh, campaign completed. Cool. Well, I enjoyed the entire game. Um, and I actually did it within the time frame that I was supposed to be stopping. Uh, yeah, it was a good game. I enjoyed it. I liked the fact that there was a story uh, told by that, that guy. That was very well done. Uh, the graphics and stuff and then obviously there was the shooting but I was thinking am I going to be coming up against a Tyrannosaurus Rex with Gallon Guns? No. Um, that bit at the end was I think just some sort of survival thing just to get kills and stuff like that which is fine but I didn't realise that until um, until I saw that. Um, yeah it's 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 a good uh, it's a good game I mean the killing is good I mean that that rocket launcher, Jesus, <laughs> it just decimates them. Um, but yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good game. People have rated it low or whatever. I mean, come on. You know, I've, I've seen some mixed review games and they're pretty crappy. But this is this is decent. I enjoyed this one. And apparently, if I have a quick glance at the uh, Steam thingy... Um, oop, hang on, that's not good. Let me just do it this way. So, looking at the Steam... Dubri, if I was actually online, would help. Um, there's like a different achievements and stuff like that. Not achievements, DLCs. Yeah, I've got to scroll through it. Maybe Wi-Fi was off. But yeah, I enjoyed the whole thing. I, I enjoyed it. It was good fun. Um, I can't get into my phone now. So, do I recommend this game? Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, let me have a look. So, you can get some DLCs, hunt packs, uh, well, Dragon Hunter, expansion packs, vampires, gargoyles, mutant hunt. So basically you can keep on going with this game and, and get more and more achievements and more and more things. It's, it's decent, it's enjoyable and it's, it's short, <laughs> but it's enjoyable. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed watching this uh, Let's Play of uh, the Dinosaur Hunt. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, I've got plenty of other games, uh, quite a lot of shooting games, not anything really with dinosaurs as such, um, but uh, yeah, it's it's still good fun. Um, leave a comment in the box below if you played this game, um, curious, and uh, yeah, okay, well thank you and goodbye.